Hi, it's Dr. Jenny here, and I want to talk about how to perform the NutriVal test. So, um, first of all, it looks like this. You get a cute little box from the lab, and it says NutriVal on it, and so you're going to open it up, and I've already unpacked mine. So it, it just looks like a little cooler. It's a styrofoam cooler, and it is a cooler because all of the stuff that you collect is going to be placed back in there, frozen, and sent to the lab. So let's talk about when you first get it and you're like, uh, what am I going to do? First of all, Ruba Health should have sent you a list of do this before the test, this is how you perform the test, but I still get a lot of questions, so I wanted to make my own video um, just because I'm very familiar with this test. It's something that I order a lot. It provides a lot of great information, but there's a lot of moving parts to it. So let's start with the order of how this is going to be done. There, there are three parts to this test, and most of the time I run all three parts on someone. Now, occasionally someone will re already have the information in one of them, and we're just running um, some of it, but most of the time it's you're going to collect um, urine at home, saliva at home, and um, you're going to take the, the rest of that kit to the lab and have a blood draw, and then it's all going to be put together and sent to the lab. So the first thing to do is there is a there is a little bag. It says biohazard on it and it's orange. This is for urine collection. And I took the directions out of there, but they, they come in here. So you can just take the directions out. And this is for the urine. So here's what you need to know about the urine is collect the urine sample the day before you have the blood test on done because you're gonna want to freeze the urine so that it makes it to the lab frozen. So say you're gonna have your, you've scheduled with uh, Jennifer or wherever you're gonna go to have the, the um, blood test done on a Tuesday, on Monday morning you're gonna collect the urine. And it's a first morning collection, that means the first urine of the morning, or if you wake up in the middle of the night, it's, it's that urine. So that is kind of tough for people who get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. What you want to do is just put some kind of plastic cup or something on the, the back of the toilet and then um, catch it, stick it in the fridge, and then in the morning you can deal with um, how to portion it out and, and all that kind of stuff. Or if you sleep all the way through the night, it's just the first time you get up and urinate in the morning. And the, the day before you perform the test, so say you're going to perform this test on a Monday. On Sunday, you want to just keep your water intake to about um, 48 ounces. That That's not really enough on a regular basis, but what it does is it helps us get concentrated urine and get better test results because these metabolites aren't all watered down. If you drink a gallon of water, sometimes this test, you know, you dilute all the, the metabolites. So that's, that's what you really want to do. So um, like we said, we, we collect our urine. And then we use this cute little pipette thing. It's like a one of these. And we fill these tubes with urine. So we fill them with urine. There is some information you need to write on the blue one. And then this is going to be true of any sample you collect. It needs to have a... So then you put them back in the bag. But not before you put... There's a list of, or a, yeah, a sheet of these labels on your um, in your box. That that'll label it with your name. It has a barcode on there that they can track. Just put the date you your date of birth on there, and stick it on every sample you collect. So you're gonna do this for the two urine tubes, and then um, stick them in here. Stick this in your freezer and make sure that it's frozen for at least two hours, but I just freeze it for the whole day, and then the next day I go get the blood test done, and I bring my I bring my frozen urine with me. When you freeze your urine, you're also going to want to take out this thing that looks like a, it's a freezer pack. Freeze that too, because that's what, it's the ice pack that keeps it cold. So you're going to freeze these things all day, and then, um, you're, so then it's the next day, and you're going to go get your blood drawn. Before you go get your blood drawn, what you want to do is the um, cheek swab sample. So the way that that works is you're going to peel back these things about halfway so you can get out the the uh, little Q-tips, but don't open it all the way because you're going to need to put them back in here. So one at a time, you take out the Q-tip, and you take 30 seconds, and you swab around, and you just collect all that good DNA 
and then you do it again with, there's two of them, then just lay it on top of here and let it dry for a few minutes, like 15 minutes, so it's not all slobbery and, and gross. And then you put it back inside of this tube, so it goes back in the sterile sleeve. It goes in the envelope, so this goes in here. And then you stick one of these stickers with your date of birth, write your date of birth on there, on the outside of this envelope. Seal it up and take that with you when you take your frozen urine and your frozen ice pack to the lab. The only um, requirement before you collect the data is the night before you do the, the data collection, just don't use mouthwash. That's You don't have to eat or drink anything different other than keeping your fluids to um, less than 48 ounces or thereabouts and then just don't use mouthwash. So that's it. And if, if you forget all these, all these directions are on here on this sheet. So I'm just kind of going over them because I do get a lot of questions. And so then when, when that's done, you the next day you, you're you fasted. So an overnight fast, 12 hour overnight fast, you go to the lab and they know what to do with all of these goodies in here because you won't know what to do with them. And they will draw your blood. They will freeze that. You'll bring your frozen urine, your frozen ice pack, your saliva test. They'll package it all up, put it back in this box, and send it to the lab. And the lab will get it and know what to do with it. And then I'll get your results in three to four weeks is, is usually um, what that takes. So I hope that that helped. And if, if you still have questions, if you watch this video and you're still like, well, I still don't get that, don't feel bad because it's, you know, the first couple times I did this test, I was like, wow, this is a lot of pieces. But um, we're here to help, and um, we'll answer any questions you have. Thank you.